Agumata's focus in concentration is to look at the clients as an individual and get beyond the disability that the client uh, has at the time that he's with Agumata. Uh, we feel each client is unique, therefore we support the clients in unique ways. It's more of a family uh, type environment. Um, the peer levels are akin to people that uh, have relationships, are comfortable with each other. Um, there's uh, privacy with their own bedroom, their own personal space. They can develop pride in their particular surroundings. We manage uh, three, three day programs through vocational services. There's the, the Crescent Community Service Day Program um, and also run through that uh, building is the Skills Training Area as well as the Balsam Day Program here. At Balsam Grove we are an adult educational program for individuals with developmental disabilities uh, over the age of 21. We have different programs um, here that are for social integration and providing um, daily independent living skills and promoting um, community integration. As far as Crescent Community Services Centre, it's more vocationally based, so we do a lot of um, life skills development, um, vocational development, um, and, and the main goal there is to foster and promote uh, life skills development and independence. The Snooze Room is a pretty big asset for us. It is a multi-sensory space that we have at the Resource Centre. and. Uh, Basically, it is a relaxing and, and stimulating environment for our clients as an alternate leisure activity. And it's, it's similar to the idea that instead of watching TV, you are in TV. So you're not a passive recipient, uh, you're an active uh, member of your experience. We provide a wide variety of skills uh, to our clients, depending of course on their needs and personal interests. It gives a person a sense of achievement and pride in what they're doing and that is one of the biggest things that we see, uh, the smiles when they've actually done something on their own and it gives them a sense of confidence in going on to the next step. Depending on the needs of the family and the reason for referral will depend on the type of services and level of um, support that we will provide to families. If it's working with more challenging behaviours, we can provide more intensive type work during our assessment and actual um, implementation of our behaviour plan. At the end of the day, at Onguanada, it comes down to respecting the needs of the family. But Onguanada in itself is a big family. A lot of the staff have been here for many years and uh, within the community residences, um, the homes are decorated very nicely. Uh, all the client bedrooms are individualized and very nicely decorated. Um, when clients are placed within a home and they come to Anguanada, there's a matching process that takes place. So even, even in the people that live in the home, we try to ensure that they're people that get along and have like interests or require like supports. Anguanada does make me feel happy and because there's something uh, they gave me something to do. Uh, my goal has always been to do honourable work and there's, and there's not, not much more honourable in my opinion than, and than the work Uncle Nod does with these clients. Mm -hmm.